Hello folks, welcome to episode 7. Now a lot has happened since episode 6. I've done a two hour stream in which we levelled up. I also tried to record this episode um, successfully and then I accidentally deleted the footage. <laughs> so we're going to have to do it all again. So what I did, and what we're going to do, is we, we started to explore some caves and then we went north to explore up there. We also um, tried to have a bit of a look up here, but there really wasn't anything of note. We'll have a bit of a look around just to see what's going on, but otherwise you won't spend too much time here. We'll go, we'll do this and then we'll go and sort out the cave. So I've levelled up quite a lot. Bollocks! <laughs> that took a while. Oh, there's a spy- oh, the spiders! Right, okay, so the first thing I need to do is just absolutely tonk these before anyone else turns up. I will be crippled for a while, but it'll- it, it will dissipate quite quickly. Is it gone? Mm, yes, right. So I might as well just harvest this. Forgot there were spiders around here. Icor and Gossimer. Right, good. Uh, so let's have a quick look at um, what I've actually done in terms of rest learning recipes. So I've got, um, I'm able to take thralls now, which means NPCs that you can take back to your wheel of pain and actually turn into helpful people. I've learned how to be a tanner and a blacksmith and um, and stuff like that, but I haven't really put much of it to use yet. I'll just close that. I've also made myself a bit stronger and plenty of vitality, so I've got a, a greater HP. But if you look at the top left, I'm actually quite corrupt now. That purple stuff in the heart. And that was partially a result of going to the cave over there, which we'll, really, we'll revisit. It's an imp cave. But there are actually quite a lot of caves I'm starting to spot. Because um, I, I think when I was first playing, I, I walked past quite a lot of caves. In fact, during the two-hour live stream, um, I also found a cave there and found a king crocodile boss. Uh, and then ran away. <laughs> it was amazing scenes. Also, also in that live stream was the hover dog, which we don't talk about. <laughs> right, so if we go up here, you start to get up to on top of this rock. Um, that kind of castly thing over there is basically just ruins, so there's not much you can really do about it. But if you work your way around here, you'll come to a camp. So we've got to be careful. Wait for our stamina to come back. There it is. Because we will have to take on three people. Get our shields up. I think there's an archer there. He's just getting up off the ground. But first we'll tonk. Tonk her. Oh god, I think I activated them all. I didn't mean to actually do that. Tonk, 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 tonk. Oh. <laughs> They're tougher than I remembered. So also of note, since last time, they've, um, they've patched the game a lot, mainly to sort out server issues. But also, I believe at some point, they've added fall damage. If you jump off a cliff now, you doze. I think in um, previous episodes, that wasn't the case. So just take all of that, get my sword back, and my shield, also my bow, make sure that I actually put the arrows on there, and that there, and that'll do for now, oh actually hang on, I might want to actually get dressed, otherwise bad shit will happen. Those appear to need repair, oh yeah, there, that's done it. Right, I could really repair my sword as well, so I'll just press one. Oh. It's not. Oh yeah, because I can only repair it once it's completely broken using the, the quick way. So let's just do that the slow way then. There we go. Right, this time let's bow up. Maybe they've gone. Maybe they've been distracted enough. Also, I mean, they're, 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 get back to third person. Yeah, they've all buggered off. Right, let's see if they've actually got any loot. I seem to remember this lot might not actually have any. It is just a case of just picking a my way through here, just double checking, see if there's any boxes. They're actually very easy to miss, these loot boxes, but they always contain absolute dreadful crap. No, there's nothing there. So let's take a peek around up here. You can keep on going up to the top here, but as I say, there isn't a huge amount. You just get to look at some ruins from afar, and that's basically it. But there are more bastards up here, so I've got to be very careful. Should have bought a spare bedroll. Uh -huh. Oh, no, I haven't got my shield up, have I? Right, there'll be archers and things around here. And this tribe, I seem to remember, did actually have a loot box. Let's have a go. Where, is, where are they? Maybe it's a bit further up here. Oh! The camp's been abandoned. Oh! How interesting. I didn't know that happened. This used to be a camp, there used to be a bloody well here in, with burning fire in it, but now it's gone! And there's just skeletons everywhere now. Good god, how much time has passed since I recorded this episode? Civilizations are rising and falling as we speak! 
Good God. Anyway, this is the problem. This is why we can't actually do anything with that thing at the moment, because there's a bloody great big gap. But it does look rather impressive, doesn't it? Huh. Right, so there's fall damage, so um, I better actually go back the long way. Okay, so let's go and take on some caves. Um, I have to go back to my starting point. I think I'll pick up a couple of bedrolls, because I have, I have them in stock these days. Uh, I think something spotted me. Can't see anything. Apart from some glitching deer, or antelopes. No, nah, I think that's fine. Do I need to eat? Uh, do a little bit. Um, I should have a... Somewhere on me I should have a water skin. There we go. I fear there might be spiders, actually. So let's just grab some stuff. Where's my camp gone? Was it up here? Oh, I'm a bit further up in the air. Ah, okay, so, yeah, my camp is... Oh, no, it's, it's literally just there. <laughs> Forget it. Right, okay, so hopefully I should have a... There we go, there's a um, nice little fibre bedroll there, going spare. We'll need a torch. Uh, this is a proper torch rather than an improvised torch, so this lasts a bit longer. I will, whilst I'm here, dump some of my cool stuff, like Icor. Uh, feral flesh I'll just drop. Uh, probably should work out the hotkey for that. I don't think I need all that hide. I do need stone and branch so I can do repairs on my stuff. Um, don't, definitely don't need putrid meat. Stone hatchet, might as well put that in there. Right, so let's go and take on the cave. The cave is over there. Um, which is kind of like... There's, there's actually loads up and down the river. Um, I've just been noticing as we're going past. I um, also managed to find things like coal and stuff. Nodes of coal, which is how, how come I've now got a decent torch. So we actually need to drink some... I'm not going to drink this water, actually, because we're about to go through a stream... So we just need to cross the river. This this river is relatively safe, although, although there's a couple of crocodiles around. And there's some doggies over there. Uh, I think I might be actually <laughs> coming to a cliff. Let's pick our way down. Try not to activate the doggies, because they're just a menace, aren't they? Whoop, careful. Oh! Hello, Rhino. <laughs> okay, so this is actually quite a dangerous cave in many ways, <laughs> because it's, it's only imps. However, they do swarm you, because there's so many of them. Oh, we're going to have to take on this doggy. Slash, 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 right in the face, and dead. That barely touched me. Did a little bit, admittedly, but... Right, now I need to wait for my health to come back. I didn't actually drink the water, I don't think. Let's go back. Is this maybe not deep enough? Oh yeah, that's fine, it's fine. Oh, there's the first of the imps. They only take two hits of this sword, but, as I say, when they start to swarm you, things get tricky. I'm getting roared at by another imp. Let's gather the yellow lotus blossom, which does fuck, no fuck only knows. Die. That's straightforward. Kill you. Before you even know- oh god. No, I was slightly out of reach. I need to learn how to make a pike at some point so we can easily take- well, easierly take on crocodiles. Oh, that was a bit of lag there. Right, so I need to wait for my- oh god. I need to wait for my health to come back a bit. I st doing it slowly. Dodge! Dodge! Haha! Oh. We really, really could do with improving the um, <laughs> all that sort of stuff. Now the trouble with, trouble with these bloody imps is that they will repeatedly keep on spawning when you least expect them, and from behind you as well. So if I just stay here and keep watch for a while, look, there's another one there. Will he spot me? These get activated from yeah, there he goes. These get activated from quite a distance away, which is most annoying. There we go. Health coming back. Stamina already full. I wonder if does meat get any health at all? Nope. That's a shame. Right, wait for the health. Put the bedroll. Actually, the bedroll should not go there, should it? And Because that's right next to where all the imps are. So we'll try and find... A, there's a dog over there. We'll try and find a safe spot on the other side of this rock somewhere. I don't know if we're trying to avoid putting it right next to a crocodile or anything. There we go. We'll enable us to do a corpse run as necessary. My health is fully back now. More imps have spawned. God damn it! And you behind me. Yes, you're coming up to meet me. Right, as soon as I go in the cave, I'll start getting corrupt. Even more so. So, torch up. And on we go. I don't think you can mine that stuff. I've tried, and nothing really happened. So I'm not going to bother with that. Oh, my sword! <laughs> Blimey. He was a bit slow on the uptake. 
you have to keep on repairing your sword. I'm using the quick hotkey method of repairing. Each time you do it, it uses up some of the stone in your inventory. Actually, my, my leggings are buggered. Let's put them on. Oh, so let's repair that while I'm at it. Oh, fuck it. I don't think I did it. Oh, yeah, see, they come from behind. It's most annoying. Right, so let's go in. Look at this cave. It's a big old cave and there's going to be loads of bastards. If you go too far too quickly, they will all hit you en masse and you won't be able to deal with them all. So I'm gaining corruption, so I've got to be very quick. I don't know, I didn't actually get very far into this cave. Spoiler alert. <laughs> when I was recording it last time. I pretty much got down to here and then that was it. Right, now I've got to let myself heal a bit. What, yeah, careful, careful, careful. This one might finish me off if I'm not careful. Oh, dicks, I didn't kill him. Ah! See what I mean there? They, they, they don't hit very that hard, but en masse, they can absolutely rinse you. Ah! Uh, I kind of ran to here, uh, which is like a, <laughs> somewhere in this cave. Um, I've just been fighting these... I'm actually doing quite well, so I've, <laughs> I've resumed talking. I thought I was just going to get rinsed again. Uh, oh, die. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. They, they can't seem to get up here very well. They, they really struggle. So this is a helpful little thing to do. See? Die. Oh, careful, careful. Ah! Oh, my so- Ah! Die! God damn it. No, so I'm out of stamina. Ah. Okay, some time later. I died a couple more times. Um, did explore the cave a bit, but it turns out the, the black holes that I thought might be entrances elsewhere were just kind of textures that are like supposed to indicate the imp spawning. I couldn't see... I don't think there's anything else in that cave. It's just um, um, an imp farm, really. Um, I, I wonder if you can actually mine those glowing things with a better pick than I've got. So we'll abandon that. Um, it's nice to see inside of a cave properly. So what we'll do is head north. That's not north. <laughs> That's north. That's the city. Do we actually want to go to the city? We want to go to the right of the city and explore, kind of like upriver, really. I think that's probably what we're kind of doing. So we'll go northeast for the time being. Try to avoid too many camps, because look at my health now. I've got so corrupt now, I've lost a third of my top... Oh, lag. <laughs> it's got lagged. Something rotten there. I've lost a lot of that. I've got a bit of vitality, but extra vitality, but hmm. Um, also, one thing, and um, because the um, the early levels are such a grind, and um, there's something that I've read, uh, um, I read a suggestion that you can change the server commands as an admin to make it so that you gain XP faster. So I've done that. I've put the XP gaining settings up, so it's now tripled. So we should actually get through the game a bit quicker, because otherwise we are going to get to some rather frustrating level barriers, and we just have to like do shitloads of grinding really and to avoid that i've just oh, i can't get down i can't get anywhere there we go to avoid that i've, I've used the multipliers uh, i might want to pick my way down carefully there we go trying to follow the river here right so let's explore that that looks cool i bet there's npcs for days there however right by the river there's lots of those pricks um, so long as we don't get too close, we should be okay. I believe this is iron. In fact, I know this is iron because of... Uh, yeah, here we go. These are proper ironstone no um, um, nodes. So at some point quite soon, hopefully in the next episode, we're going to use these. We're going to actually build a furnace and stuff like that and actually turn those iron ores into iron bars. What? Oh, it's a, it's a, it, oh my god, that's a... Ah, <laughs> oh, you laggy... <laughs> Not in the middle of a fight. Oh, so annoying. All right. I think it's when it's loading new areas or something. I must have been stepping into a, a newer bit. Right, so I'll actually work my way across here, I think. This might be a bit safer to avoid ostriches and biggins of various descriptions. Oh, careful. I think there might be a way down just here. That, over there... Let's just have a look at it. Over there, that's a kind of bit that's absolutely heaving with NPCs. That once I'm stronger, I want to go and investigate. Um, it's just, yeah, it's just full of... Uh, you can't you can't do it when you're as weak as me, but I want to see what treasures lie lie within. That was a big un. I think they're. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be adult shalebacks or not. I never quite managed to resolve that. Oh, I think it's chasing me. Uh, but never mind. Let's just keep going. Oh, it's faster than I remember them. Hello, dear. Oh, look. Let's have a big hand for that statue. That's actually what we're supposed to be investigating. I might need to just, like, work my way down here. Oh, I'm... Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Did a cunning first-person-to-third-person manoeuvre whilst in the air, which was cool. I keep forgetting 
They, it puts you back into first person. Am I being chased? I'm not, actually. Let's get some coal whilst I'm here. That's not doing... Oh, there we are. That's giving me coal. George Cole. There we go. Right. I've got loads of bedrolls. Well, two. <laughs> so I'm going to keep on using them. Overlapping, overlapping, overlapping. Oh, I'll have to go up in the air a bit. There we go. There's a new spawn point. And now let's go upstairs. Getting quite encumbered. Oh, I need water. Hang on. Have I still got my water skin? Yes, I have. Actually, I've just, got, I've just passed some bloody water. Come on. Oh, the water the, the water skin's empty. Uh-oh. Right, we'll have to deal with that now, because otherwise I will die before we go any further. Uh -huh. Run down to the water. Drink up. Press 8 to fill up. There we go. And there's some more antelopes. Might as well harvest that whilst I'm here. God only knows why. I'm assuming that's going to be some sort of medicine, but I don't think I can craft anything with it yet. And so what are we doing up here? Oh, with NPCs. Um, oh, we can get on the hand. Let's have a look. Let's have a look on the hand. Way. I mean, the game's palm of its hand or something. God, you can get right down on the... Oh, no! Oh, right. Yeah, so that's a bit wily Coyote-ish. But you can see for miles on the hand of bloke. The famous bloke. Huh. So up there, um, I'm guessing it's just NPC hell. See, so which way is that facing? That's kind of like north. So we'll go over there. And we'll just have a quick peek to see if we, this is um, doable. There was an archer. And he's dead. Huh. Do you have anything on you? Oh, you've got some ironstone. That's better loot than normal. Because that is the thing. I, I don't bother raiding NPC camps anymore normally, simply because the loot is so piss. Right. Carefully does it. Oh, you've got you've to hold it down. I'm just cre I'm creeping about the place. There doesn't seem to be anyone up here. All the NPCs recently just seem to have just vanished. Or died, mysteriously. Hello. <laughs> You're not an NPC. Oh my god! It's the meeting of the antelopes. Ha. Ha! And ha. Let's have a look in this loot box. That's better loot. That is better loot. And now I'm ca <laughs> fuck's sake. And now I can't carry. Oh! Well, word is a bit... Let's, let's split the stack. Where's all the NPCs gone? I'm getting creeped out by this. Drop. That's mm, only just. Well, let's drop a little bit more of the stone. In fact, let's use some, let's actually use some of it to repair, and that'll do the business, I think. There we go. So all the NPCs have just gone. Oh no, they haven't. <laughs> oh, suddenly they're spawning in. Uh, okay, right. My accuracy is piss, by the way. Oh, he's got he's got a bloody pike. This this could get awkward very fast. Dodge, dodge, you prick! Oh, I just remembered to equip my shield, but no. So that's where they all are. They were having a confab somewhere else in the camp. Oh, luckily I put my bloody bedroll down. You were killed by some bloke. One. Right, we'll do a quick corpse run, and then we'll move on north. I think. Do, 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 do. Take all. Luckily that bloke has gone again. They do that. Uh huh. And equip our arrows, most importantly. I also need my... Put my clothes back on again. It keeps happening. Could do with getting some better armour, but you have to research every piece of armour individually. Where's my XP? My XP is not really going... Well, I was going to say my XP is not going up because I'm not doing anything. I keep on not winning. I don't seem to be winning my fights at the moment. Most disconcerting. So, yeah, let's head north. Into the dusty... Whatever the hell this is. I am going north, aren't I? Yes, I am. We'll follow this river. There's a croc down there, so we won't follow the river too closely. We'll stay on these kind of ledgy me doodars. Out of stamina again. And I've got to be careful. I'm not to run out of stamina just before a fight. 
So I'll, I'll walk for the most part. Unless it looks really safe. This, this actually looks really safe. So I'm going to run. Water is starting to get a bit more... Hmm. Right, put that there. I've, been, I've actually been benefiting from a cheat, actually. Oh, it's an elephant! I was going to say, a benefit from a slight bug at the moment is that when you die, you can sometimes loot your corpse whilst you're dead. And then when you rematerialize, you do kind of um, have all your stuff again. Which I thought they'd fixed, but... Okay, so this is the first elephant. I'll be a bit more awed, but um, in the episode 7 that I got, I had to, well, I deleted by mistake, um, I found elephants. So, here they are! Well, that, in that episode 7 it was chaos and it was at night. So this is actually a much better look at matey boy. They do attack, but I think they're like, you, you have to get quite close to them, like rhinos. And he's also stuck behind a rock by the looks of it. Look at you, you majestic beast. Only get these when you go north. Oh! <laughs> Lads. Lads. Lads, 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 lads. Uh, 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 uh. Dumbo is on my tits. Ah! <laughs> Keep going, lads! He's found us! Right, I'm gonna go... Oh, shit. Shittimagoriums. Ah! I saw a tusk! Oh, shit. Oh, right, okay. We're gonna have to take a bit of a leap of faith here, I think. Because I don't think I've actually got a bedroll on the go. Right. I tricked Dumbo. Good. Right, put it down a bedroll. I'm not 100% sure about the old bedroll anymore. Oh, get down! Overlapping. Overlapping with what, you pissmonger? There we go. Damn. I just shot a bloody arrow at it. Right, that's fine. Oh, hello! Oh, the, the elephants found me! But look at that. Look at that. It's an actual bridge. Cool! Didn't see that before. Right, it's... Oh, God. Right, let's cross the river. That's in, there's a rhino by the looks of it. Oh, there's a croc. Fuck. Hang on. Right. Drink and run. If the lag ever bloody... God damn it! There we go. What's in there, anyway? Right, what's... Oh, it's, it's, it's the alligator chasing me. So, is there anything up here? Oh, there's a little lagoon! Huh. Plus some iron ore nodes, by the looks of it. But I want to get away from this croc. So I'll just do some material grabbing whilst I'm at it. The, that rhino is looking at me funny, but let's not worry about that. Fuck's sake, I've got two on my tail. Oh, it's one of them. Shit, run away. I've seen them in... Oh, dicks. I managed to kill it, actually. But, yeah, it's, it's going me to death. <laughs> yeah, the first time I saw one of those, I, don't, um, I actually killed it and got its head. And it was most incredible, but then I got killed. That was off all, like, in, in this... Jesus Christ, don't make that noise. <laughs> um, yeah, it was all sorts of chaos. Um, yeah, I killed it first time because it kind of, like, got stuck behind something. Um, but yeah, it's it's reasonably tough, but not hugely tough. Right, now what we're going to do, again, we're going to escape the old-fashioned way by doing a little leapy poos. Not too much, because I say there is sometimes, seems to be like not always happening, but sometimes you get fall damage. And I have actually splattered into bits before. Oh, wank on a stick. Oh my god, the bridge is right there. Got very close to it. How do I actually get up to it? Can you get up to it? Probably not. And, oh, you might be able to get to it from the city, from the um, from the the was named city of of Doodars, as it's called. I don't think we're going to be able to get up there. Not now, anyway. There's another poisonous spidery Doodar. Oh, might be able to get up to the base of it. This, this is going to turn deadly very fast, isn't it? Let's see what we can do. Uh, I might have have to accept that this character is going to die, and uh, I'm not going to get my stuff back. <laughs> uh, but who knows? Let's get my torch on the go. We're, and we're under the bridge, the real proper actual bridge of something or other. Actually, what if we go This is this is terror incognita. Another, there's another city on the horizon. Oh wow. We've gone way further north than I expected, and I think yeah, this is further north than I got in the pre in the the non Oh it's one of you! Right. Am I out of stamina? I'm out of stamina. God damn it. Right, come on. Oh, it's going me. Go, 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 go. Ow. Dicks. I did exactly what I said I shouldn't do. Um, run out of stamina and then have a fight. Right, can I loot all? Can I use the bug? Apparently not. Not this time. Damn it. So, it was a rock nose. That was the chap that I was thinking about. And, yes, we are now... <laughs> somewhere. Ugh. Well... 
I think I'm going to try and make my way back south, back to my camp. Or maybe start making a new camp, actually, somewhere a bit more accessible and a bit more useful in the middle of the map or whatever. A good centre point to spread out from. Or maybe a monolith, Bill, if we can find a monolith. There's always a monolith. So yes, um, uh, uh, we'll see you next time where we will try and do, I think, I think more base building, so we'll try and do some forging and stuff like that. I have no idea who I am. I'm going to run into a... Is that a rhinoceros? I think it might be. Let's say hello to it. Let's punch it in the bum! Yes! <laughs> okay, so subscribe for future episodes of this, um, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.